Welcome back to more I bet when I use that extra high-powered, high-octane gas for the race, I'll zoom as fast as a real race car. Yeah. Welcome back to more Putt Butt enters the race. Now you're probably wondering about this cave here, how to get to make it through here. Move the cursor to this sm the smiley face, smiley face that you see right here on the dashboard to make it through here. What was that I ran over? Well, who knows, because I can't see a thing. And we need a flashlight. Click on the tractor and to speak to him. Hi, Torval Tractor. Oh, hey there, Podfoot. What brings you out this way? Mr. Baldini wanted me to pick up some things at your farm. Oh, yeah. He told me all about that. You go right ahead. Thanks. This is where you gotta go and find what we need for Mr. Baldini. Here's a flashlight here. Wow, it's a flashlight! Hey, Pot, but you want that whole thing? It's not really working. Do you know what's wrong with it, Torval? Oh, yeah. No batteries. Go ahead and take it. Gee, thanks. Oh, don't you go mentioning it now. But I was gonna need the batteries for the flashlight. Hey, I bet the batteries I got at the toy store will fit in this. Perfect! Boom, the, the, use the flashlight here to see what there is. And here's the hook. It's a hook! I bet it's the one that Pete Crane lost. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. But first we're gonna go, go this way here. And to get what Mr. Baldini needs for his store. Which is by hand this way over here. Hmm, I wonder where I can pick the things I need for Mr. Baldini. Click on the basket here. I still need to find a tomato, an ear of corn, and a bunch of broccoli. So I gotta go and find these things. Never know what Mr. Baldini's gonna need. It's a maze. It's just like the garden maze when I did one of the big thinker walkthroughs. Which was the garden maze. We help Ben Brightly to figure out in the maze and to earn some smart stars. Also to see him turn into different animals and to see him eat food that's in the path. Here we need the tomatoes. Hey, tomatoes! I've got to get one for Mr. Baldini. I better pick it. Backtrack. So now we need the broccoli and the corn. Look very closely and carefully on the screen here to know what you're getting. Like here's a broccoli, but I got a backtrack because this is a dead end. Don't worry if this maze takes some time to get used to. We never played this game before. Just make sure the cursor is in the right place and not the wrong place. I've got a long way to go right now. There's a corn, which I'm gonna get right now. I'll have to get closer if I wanna pick that. Yeah, you have to get, move closer to get it. Corn! I need some of those for Mr. Baldini. I better pick some. Now I gotta backtrack here and get the last of the items, which is the broccoli. It's easy to get lost in this means, and you wanna be careful not to go into circles. Talk about a maze unlike any other. Talk about a maze labyrinth unlike any other. Here's the broccoli. Look, broccoli! Mr. 
Mr. Baldini wanted one of those. I better pick one. That's it. I filled the box. Now I have to take it back to Mr. Baldini. Yeah. How do I'm not sure how to get there from here. So now, so now what I gotta do now is backtrack, which is the long way. The hardest part is to retrace your steps. And to know where you gotta go to exit. Hmm. I can't drive straight there. You can only go to where the arrow is pointing. I can't go this way either because this is a dead end. And you never know when you're going to run into dead ends. Which is paths that don't lead anywhere. Like here I'm trying to go this way, but I went the wrong way. Just give me a minute while I'm trying to figure out what I gotta do here. Like there's the exit, so I gotta go the long way. What a relief to be out of there. Hope that doesn't. I hope that maze maze does not give you trouble like it did for me. If you thought the Croft Manor maze was hard, that was harder. That's his accordion. So grow so snug, yeah, tucked into their shells. They hang upon the vine until they're big and ready to sell. Snap open a pod, a taste so crunchy sweet. My peas upon the pod really are a treat. Now I gotta backtrack here and give the groceries to Mr. Baldini. Yeah, basically if you want to enter that cave you have to move the cursor to this smiley face. That way you won't have to be like moved off moved off to the side. And let the cars pass but that every time. I will go and help Chuck, but I'm gonna give these groceries to Mr. Baldini here. Move the cursor to the groceries here and to give it to him. Here you go, Mr. Baldini. Thank you, Putt Putt. And just like I promised, here's a two of coins. Thanks. You're welcome. And if you want to fill up another produce box, you just let me know. I'm good. <clears throat> if you want to do it more than once, you can. But I'm going to do it just once. Once is more than enough. And that maze really took forever. Give the hook to Pete. Here's the hook, Pete. Is it yours? Is it ever? But, but, you are a great pal. Why don't you hook it back on me, and I'll get these pipes moved. Thanks, Putt Putt. Okay, stand back. I've got work to do. Yeah. All clear. Thanks again, Putt Putt. It sure feels great to be able to work again. 
You're welcome, Pete. Now I can go this way. It's a come and go as you wish. And here is basically where we meet Rover. I'm gonna end this video here. And continue on with more of this walkthrough in the next part. I'll see you then. Catch you on the flip side.